By now, you've probably heard about the plant-based burger, designed to look, taste, and even bleed like a traditional beef patty. The Impossible Burger, aptly named as Spark Curiosity, has been generating buzz and filling Instagram feeds since its launch in 2016. Yet, despite the excitement surrounding this vegan innovation, many questions remain. How is it made? What does it actually taste like? And most importantly, does it live up to the hype? Are you curious as well? Follow us in this video as we dive into the fake meat industry to uncover the fascinating processes behind its production. Plant-based meat alternative is just what it sounds like, a plant alternative for animal-based meat that serves as a protein source, which consists of no animal products in its production and vegetables, grains, and legumes are its main ingredients. The idea of using plants to mimic the texture and taste of meat was first recorded in ancient China. Buddhist monks recorded the creation of vegetarian dishes that are quite like meat. Even today, the majority of the Buddhist monks follow the principles of ahimsa, which refers to non-violence, which includes not slaughtering animals for meat. The same was also recorded during the medieval period in Europe, specifically during Lent, which is a 40-day period of fasting and penitence. People turned to meat alternatives. The period forbade the consumption of warm-blooded animals, eggs, and dairy products, therefore to replace the taste and texture of meat. They often used a mix of chopped almonds and grapes as a substitute for mincemeat. The company Impossible Food was founded in 2011 and launched its first plant-based alternative called the Impossible Burger in 2016. It gained widespread popularity, especially among vegans and vegetarians, because of its use of heme a molecule that gives meat its distinctive flavor in the plant-based blend. On the other hand, Beyond Meat was founded in 2009, and it offers products like Beyond Burgers and Sausages that are primarily made from pea protein. The main natural plant-based ingredients used in the production of fake burgers is soybeans, which provide a high protein content and texture similar to that of real meat. Potato protein is also added, which contains the nutrients that work on the nutritional aspect and flavor component of the meat. When the potato is added during mixing in the raw state, it helps all other ingredients bind together, and when cooked, it gels up to hold water so as to make the meat juicy and nice to chew down. An important ingredient in some plant-based meats is lahemoglobin, a protein found in certain plants like soy. Similar to hemoglobin in animals, it provides an iron-rich, savory flavor. When mixed with other ingredients and cooked, it helps create the meat-like flavors that closely resemble real animal-based meat. This heme is the most debated aspect of the Impossible Burger. It contributes to the burger's flavor, color, and its ability to bleed like real beef. Heme is naturally abundant in animal tissue and plays a key role in the chemical reactions that occur during cooking. However, in the Impossible Burger, heme is produced differently. Scientists extract DNA from the roots of soy plants, insert it into genetically engineered yeast, and ferment the yeast, a process similar to how Belgian beer is brewed. To trap the meat's good flavor, sunflower oil, which is an unsaturated fat, is added to the ingredients. It also aids as a delivery system when ingesting the burger. Finally, cellulose, which holds all plants together, is also added as an essential ingredient in producing the fake burger. It is referred to as fiber. It is added to the mixed ingredients so as to allow for the whole product to be bound all together. A combination of all these ingredients in the right ratio is placed into a huge mixer that will mix thoroughly to achieve a uniform texture. The uniform mixture is fed into an extruding machine, which shapes the mixture into continuous logs or sheets, depending on the required shape, which resemble meat fibers. After the extrusion process, the fiber-like product is shaped and portioned into specific shapes using molds or cutting machines to create patties for burgers or bricks for sausages. The produced patties or bricks are frozen and packaged immediately for distribution. This is essential to ensure consistent quality and shelf stability of the meat. In recent years, plant-based meat alternatives have taken the food industry by storm, 
offering consumers new ways to enjoy their favorite dishes without the health and environmental concerns associated with the traditional animal-based meats. With companies like Beyond Meat and Impossible Foods leading the industry, vegan meat is quickly gaining acceptance unlike before, becoming a staple on grocery store shelves and restaurant menus. Improved advancements in food technology has made plant-based meats more appealing to meat eaters, unlike before when fake meat was considered bad testing and harmful to the body due to the poor technology used in its production. Health concerns are also another factor. More people are becoming vegan, vegetarian, and flexitarian every year because they are more health conscious and they like to try new dietary trends. This has helped increase the popularity of plant-based meat, especially in the United States. As consumers become more conscious of the impact their dietary choices have on other animals, the planet, and their health, plant-based meat alternative sources are becoming more popular than ever before. A trend that is likely to continue, which may lead to even greater variety of plant-based options on supermarket shelves. As the demand for sustainable and humane protein sources grows, it's clear that plant-based meat can be the long-term solution for some of the most pressing issues affecting protein production. There you have it, all you need regarding plant-based meat alternatives in its production process. With what you've watched now, do you think more people will switch to eating plant-based alternatives in the near future? Share with us your thoughts and comments. Also. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more interesting videos.